reservations for Rio, please? Oh, this looks very expensive, frankly. Oh, don't worry about it, ma'am. Nothing but the best for you. <laughs> Come on, this way. Surprise! Happy birthday, ma'am. <laughs> Look who's here, ma'am. Johnny, what the feet Oh, 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 what are you doing in Chicago? I took the train in from Pennsylvania this morning. Oh, oh, what do you yeah. think? I'm gonna miss your party, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is Vi. <laughs> She's a dancer. <laughs> Why don't you tell me your younger sister is here, huh? Your silver tongue is going to get you into some kind of trouble. Don't you worry about my silver tongue. Hey, get over here to me, kiss, huh? Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, come on. Come on, let's take her inside. Come on, get a bar. Come on, fellas, play, play. Sonny, come over here. I want you to meet somebody. Sonny, it's your Uncle Johnny. This is Uncle Frankie's brother. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, me too. Uncle Johnny's a college man, just like you're gonna be one day. And one day you work really hard like him. You grow up to be a doctor, a lawyer, judge, anything that you want to be. That's one of the beautiful things about America. You can be anything you want. Ain't that right, Johnny? Sure, huh? Where's your girlfriend? Somewhere there. Well, you ain't fucking west of the dance, huh? Okay. <laughs> good, good. Let's right, see how school going. Oh, reward, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's a dish. Mm, you dance that swell. It's nice, huh? You should look around. Right? <laughs> what the hell, you're young. You gotta have a good time. Yeah, thanks, huh? But don't have too good a time. You gotta keep your mind on school, huh? Let me up. If you need anything, let me know. Right. <laughs> hey, Frankie. Come here, Johnny. This is my brother, Frankie. Al's right here. I want to meet Al Capone. See you later, Johnny. You said I could. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm busy. If you want a big shot like you claim, you do it. Look around you. Capone's family is my family. All I got to do is snap my fingers. These guys will kill for me, right? Behave yourself. Huh? Hey, this Frank Needy. <laughs> All right, everybody, hands above your heads. Come on, hands above your heads. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? This is my mother's birthday party. Hey, I want crap out of you. I'll squeeze your head. Please. All right, let's keep back. Stand still. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. What was going on here? Somebody call a doctor! Mr. Capone! What the hell are you doing here? You get your animal stars get the hell out of here! Get out! We get out! It's a family party! Sorry, Mr. Capone, I didn't notice it was your party. Mama, you okay? Mama. Johnny, I thought you said these guys were big shots. I'm really sorry, Mr. Capone. We, we had no idea. This was my mother's birthday party. What the hell did you think you were busting up, huh? Like I said, we got an anonymous tip. That was this all big... All right, all right, shut up. Get out of my sight. Get him out of here, Frankie. Move it. Is your mom all right? Doctor, give her some heart pills. Say she'll be fine. Thank God. We got it. 
The original tip was called into the third precinct. It's Jenna's turf. Our guy's there. They heard Angelo's oldest son, Aldo, bragging about making a move on us. Jenna's. I mean, what the hell is wrong with this kid? We just made a treaty with the Jenna's. And now he goes pulling this? We're busting up birthday parties. That's the best they can do right now. And my mama's sitting home crying her eyes out. They could have killed her. We gotta do something. We gotta do something right now. Hey, hey, I spat Johnny, huh? This is gonna affect business. We're not gonna be running off half cocked. If you don't do something, I'm gonna. Shut that zit to Johnny. Hey, hey, everybody take it easy, all right? Johnny, come here. Listen to me, all right, kid? Now look, I've known you since you were a kid. You got a lot of heart, just like your brother. But I'm gonna tell you something for your own good. I want you to go back to college, get your education, make something out of yourself, and make your family proud. All right? Frank, I think I'm downstairs. Might I get a drink, all right? Take it easy. Come on, Jenna. Forget about it, Al. We got bigger problems in this Jenna business. Local 230. Gotta take a look at what they're doing. The guy on the inside says they're moving a lot of product. Precinct busted up a big Capone gathering. Turned out to be a birthday party for Frankie Rio's mom. Who's the Joker? Quinlan Source at the third says uh, the cops went out on a bogus call from one of the Jenna boys. Thought it was some kind of weapons deal. Jenna's are playing a dangerous game. Capone's repayment plans may not be quite so funny. Get Quinlan cracking on his sources, see if he finds any Capone movement. Ah, uh, it's already in the works. I got Pagano steak on Frankie Rio's. Okay. Good work. Well, listen, I'll get out on the street, see what I can find out. So then I says, I can make this go in one ear and out the other. Know what I mean? You said that? Yes. Yeah. What'd he say? Say, he didn't say nothing. He beat his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he beat his pants? What's the guy gonna say? I mean, I got the gun right up to his head. What's he gonna say? I love it. You cannibal is really something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He beat his pants? Hey, listen to this. I got another one. We're hanging out. There's these two blondes. You know, me and Joey, we're hanging out. just iced. Where were you guys then? This charming piece of crap is Mike Jenner, one of Angelo's kids. Screw you. You know, kid, it's too bad this guy couldn't shoot too well, because it would have saved the taxpayers a whole lot of time and money. What do you guys keep riding me for, huh? Hey, five minutes Take alone it. with this Take guy. It. Back off, will you? It's the same story from everyone. No ID on the shooter. Oh, that guy must have been a real pro to hit such a tiny little guy like you. Pro? Bro, the guy had to be a real moron to come in here like this. Do you hear me? Get him out of here. A moron. Just calm down. Now, think about it. A pro would not have wasted this many bullets. Paul, what's the word on civilians? Two wounded, one dead. Bartender took a little glass in the face. Dead man, no connection to the Jennas? Just a guy who works here. I can't believe it. Capone would risk an all-out war just because of the ill Sereno bust. Elliot? Donnie? Of course, nobody saw anything, but I found this by the back door. MR? Milton Rivas. Check the reservation book. Mr. Milton Rivas has had lunch here every Thursday for the past two years. I better find out what made Mr. Milton Rivas leave in such a hurry. Get right on it. Hey, Mom? Hey, Frankie. Hey, Jen. Uh, How much time, huh? Yeah, I've been. Uh, well. Hey, Mom? 
Oh, there you are. How are you feeling today? You okay? Yeah. Better, better. Uh, <laughs> I've got the sauce on. Come. Oh. Okay, well, give me this. We'll be right in. Be right Hurry in. up. Okay. Everything is ready. Your bots, I'm crazy. Did you read this? Huh? I wasn't sure until I saw that. You goofed, Johnny. You realize what you did? You might have started a game war that I've been trying to smooth over. It's our family, Frankie. Capone should have took care of it. Don't you ever say that? You hear me? Or I'll kill you myself. Now, did anybody see you? I said, did anybody oh, see you? No. I gotta wait clean. Dinner's ready. Come on now. What'd you make, Ma? Yes. What Professor Milton Revis? Yes. Treasury Department. Agent Paul Robbins. I'm Elliot Ness. Oh. Oh, I've heard of you. Uh, what what can I do for you? You made a stop at the Bellamundo restaurant yesterday. Oh, I, I believe the last time I was there was a week ago. Their appointment book shows that you eat at the same table every Thursday. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's correct. Um, my third year students uh, had a law final yesterday, so I, I stayed here to grade their papers. Uh, um, I had to settle for ham and cheese. I guess your handkerchief was hungry then. Look familiar? Lots of people have the initials MR. Mr. Rivas, an innocent man was killed. Now nobody saw the gunman's face. I think you can help us. This was a gangland shooting, right? And that makes a difference. Mr. Rivas, is this what you teach your students? Stay out of it unless it's your client and you're collecting a big fee. I read the papers. Witnesses have a way of ending up dead. I have a family. I think it's time you come down from that ivory tower. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. It's not your fault, Frankie. Now I, uh, I'm gonna turn myself in for Jano's murder. What are you talking about? Ness is not going to let up. I know Johnny didn't cover up his tracks. It will break my mother's heart if Johnny goes down. She was counting on him being somebody. And me. Listen to me. You are somebody, Frankie. You're my most loyal friend. You're my most dependable man. I need you, Frankie. Understand me? I need you. Look, I promise you. If Johnny gets pinched, I'll put all my money and all my power behind getting him out. Not one face looks familiar? No. Sorry. Let's start again. Maybe you missed him. Uh, the gunman doesn't look like anyone in these books. Uh, I mean, he, 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 he didn't look like a killer. He, he looked more like one of my students. Killers come in all shapes and sizes, Mr. Rebus. You ever try a case? Actually, no. Uh, I went right into teaching. These are the photos that reporter took at Mama Rio's birthday party. Maybe the shooter's among them. Let's take a look. Mostly familiar faces. Look, I can't believe that any of these guys could waltz into Jenna territory without being made. 
Here, wait. Uh, this one. The guy on the left? No, the, the one behind him. Are you John Real? Mom, get away from the door. I'm calling Al Capone. Fine, you do that downtown. Oh. Ah. John Real, you're under arrest. Hey, Help. my mother's got a heart condition. Yeah. Well, you should have thought of that before you clipped all those Jenny. Oh, my God. That's my Johnny. That's my Johnny. He couldn't do this. He couldn't do this. Got him. Got him. You've got nothing on my client? You don't have a murder weapon. You can't place him at the scene. We'll see about that. Harris, my read on Judge Lyle is that he's going to go along with our motion and deny bail. Oh, God. <laughs> if you were uh, trying to scare us, Mr. Costa, you're wasting your time. Yeah, you didn't see my first dorm room. Prison might be an improvement. <laughs> now, if you're willing to make a deal, I'm listening. What the hell with a deal? If you had any real concern for Johnny, you wouldn't have Capone's second-in-command sitting here. Just a family friend. It's my only role here. Don't you get it, Johnny? They're sending you straight to the gallows because they don't want you to tell us where you got the idea to kill Aldo Jenna. Forget about it, Ness. The kid's a civilian. My client is a hard-working college boy with no criminal record and no connection to organized crime whatsoever. The uh, jury's going to believe that for about two seconds once I get a good look at his friends. You can't touch Al Ness and you can't touch me. Elliot, yeah, take a look at that jury box, Johnny. And there's going to be 12 of your peers, 12 ordinary people who don't like the idea of getting gunned down just because they picked the wrong place to get spaghetti. You got it? You're going down. Elliot, I'm fine. I think we're finished here. Hey, looks like we scared him. Al still thinks of you as family. I don't. You become something I gotta protect Al from. So from now on, you keep your yap shut. Otherwise, I'm gonna fix it that you go to jail and you'll never get out, Capiche. Elliot! I think you're working too hard. I just wanted to wipe that smile off his face. Punk guns down three people, and he sits there, hiding behind Capone's lawyer like it's a game. It just makes me sick. All right, the kid's a monster. But with Rita's testimony, we've got him. Maybe. Elliot, you are stretched too tight right now. What are we going to do? Got any ideas? Elliot, we've moved Milton Rivas away to a safe house. 24-hour protection. Yeah, honest cops. Handpicked by me. Case really feels solid, Elliot. We could probably run with this if you uh, want to take a breather, Elliot. Plenty of work here for everybody. Look, Elliot, you've been here around the clock for a couple of weeks. So what are you saying? You've bunked here plenty of nights, Paul. So have you, Tony. Yeah, but Elliot, you... But what? Huh? Hey, whatever you want to do, Elliot. If you want to leave your dirty socks on the floor, I'll pick them up, file them under S. We've got everything under control, Elliot. Give us a couple minutes, will you, Tony? opportunity here. I say we use this craziness with the kid, finish the genus once and for all. What are you talking about finish? I mean, hasn't there been enough blood spilt in this stupid incident? I say that we keep the peace. 
In the meantime, I want you to do everything you can for Frankie's brother. What? Well, you don't like the kid. Johnny Rio acts tough. But it's just an act. You know that. I can only get for 10 years. He ain't gonna roll on us. Maybe not. Maybe they just lean on him until a confession loses out. Maybe then he tries to pin it on us just to save his ass. And that's a risk I don't want to take. So what are you asking me to do, huh? You're asking me to whack Frankie's brother? He heard us out. Our business partners don't like that we're back in the headlines. Especially being connected with shooting innocent people. Look, what the kid did was wrong. It was dead wrong. But what are we supposed to do, turn our backs on him? He's family, Frank. I would do the same thing for a member of your family. You want to protect him? You're going to have to start thinking of other options. Options? I don't have any options, Frank. The only option is to win the case. All right. As soon as court's back in session, I'll give you what you want. Take your groceries, but I think I got a handful here myself. Oh, that's okay. You want to get a cup of coffee? Sure. Yeah, uh, uh, a little place right here. Great. Nice to see you. It's good to see you too. Uh, thanks. I think we're just having coffee. So look at you. How's Ed? <laughs> Still working at the bank? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. How about you? Are you still married to your college sweetheart? Yeah, yeah, Catherine. Yeah. So, uh, when did Catherine stop doing your laundry? About the same time she took our daughter and moved back to Milwaukee. Temporary. Has it hit you pretty hard? Yeah. That's, it's, uh, tough. So, how are they treating you, Johnny? Uh, not bad. Don't worry about it. You'll be home eating my lasagna before you know it. Not sure Frank's in any rush to get me out of here. Well, you do the right thing. He'll make sure you come out of the suitcase. <sighs> what do you think? I'm gonna miss my silk shirts? I'll blab to the cops? Johnny, I've been where you are. I, I can take it, Frankie. As tough as all you guys. So that's it, huh? You think you're a tough guy? Let me tell you something, Johnny. Tough guy wouldn't have let a witness stroll out of that restaurant alive. Come on. I want you to visit him every day at the same time. This way, there's something to look forward to, right? Johnny saying that your mother did it, Rob Bennett. See? All right. enough. I can't get out of my head that it's not the juice of grapes, it's the blood of men. I think of the thousands that Capone and his kind of slaughter just so they can 
control the profits of a simple, simple drink. I never thought of it that way. I don't know, it seems a little like tilting at windmills after a while. You think what you do has no value? You can't give up, Elliot. Not now. How do you know me so well? Because you haven't changed all that much. Not really. In high school, all those awards and things that you won, and you know what I remember the most? What? How you always looked out for the weaker kids. The ones who couldn't take care of themselves. You can't stop doing that, Elliot. Why me? Because if not you, who else? I think about that waiter that got shot the other day. He's one of your thousands, isn't he? Yeah. He could have been any one of us. Yeah. One minute he's there, he's, he's working to support his family. Next minute he's dead. Don't you see? That's why we need men like Elliot Ness. Elliot. Thank you. Where is it? Open it up. What's going on? Come out? on, do it. I'll take responsibility. Put it on. We're going for a little ride. You put it on. Hey! Hey! Why don't you hit me? Hit me! Come on! Highly unusual, Mr. Ness. Just give us five minutes. You can't do this, Ness. Are you sure we're not finished with him? Uncover him. Take a good look, Johnny. You're sick! You know this man? You know his name? I want you to know his name, I've Johnny. I've seen this guy, right. Ness. You looked at him, you never even saw him. His name is Raymond Puller. He's not a mobster, he's not a Jenner. He was a waiter, trying to support a family, and you killed him. I didn't kill nobody, I man! Look at him! Let me out of here! I'm calling my lawyer, Ness! Three little kids, Johnny. They don't have a father anymore. You took that away from them. I said, look at him! Because whatever happens to you, I want you to remember this face. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Tell Nettie I got what we need. Hello. Who do we have here? Doesn't look like a law student to me. He's not, but he might need a lawyer pretty soon. That's Ricky the Weasel, the utility man for Frank Nettie. Let's see what these clowns are up to. Let's roll. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is the gun that killed Aldo Jenna. Mr. Jenna, is this the gun that you saw the assailant use to shoot you and your brother? Yeah, that could have been it. Exhibit A, Your Honor. 
Now, uh, Mr. Jenner, just uh, one further question. Uh, do you see the man who shot you and your brother here in the courtroom? I don't know. I didn't see his face. Well, why is that, Mr. Jenner? I was too busy trying to stop my brother from bleeding to death. Your witness. There you go. There's my boy. Good. Honey. Come, oh. Mama. Okay, I'll go get that. I'll get it. Oh, what? Get off the floor, Revis. Hey, what, what's going on? Yeah, it's me. Tell Liddy we got the job done. We got the professor's son and his family. I have no further questions, Mr. Horner. Thank you very much. Your witness, Mr. Rosen. I have no questions at this time, Your Honor, but I reserve the right to recall the witness at a later time. Very well. You may step down, Mr. Horner. Permission to approach the bench, Your Honor? If you promise to keep it brief this time, Mr. Rosen. Mr. Rebus, is the man that you saw coming out of Bella Mundo with a gun in his hand presently in this courtroom? Actually, um, I, uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I, 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 I was startled. I, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm really not, not sure. We got a woman in Robbins who found Rebus' son and his family in the hotel. She's got stall for a minute. Forgive me, Your Honor. I, I, I need my other glasses. Your Honor, uh, the people request a 15 minute recess. Granted, 15 minute recess. Excitement and everything. I, I wanted so badly to help. I, I, I guess I, I thought I saw more than I actually did. Mr. Rebus, we know all about your son and his family. Now I promise you, nothing is going to happen to them. But right now, we need you to buy us some time. I can't. I took a good look at you that first day in the office. I should have known that. I, I know saw that. a man who knows the difference between right and wrong. No, somebody walks into a restaurant and kills three people is Please. wrong, even if everyone in that restaurant happens to be a mobster. Please. That's who I saw. We need your help. Mrs. Rebus, you home? Mr. and Mrs. Rebus, I know you're in there. I saw your car out front. I've been by twice now. I'm not leaving until you pay for this lighting fixture you ordered. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Mr. Rebus here? I'm a friend of his. Tell me what he owes. You can leave the package right there. Oh, yeah, sure. That'll be okay. Let me get the invoice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sure. Okay. Sir. Let's go. We're five minutes from the courthouse. And now, Mr. Rebus, uh, isn't it true that uh, you go to the Bellamundo every Thursday at exactly the same time? Mr. Costa, 
You're sorely trying my patience. Wrap this up right now or dismiss this witness. Mr. Rivas, I ask you once again, is the man that you saw coming out of the Bella Mundo with a gun in his hand presently here in the courtroom? in Argentina. How can you do this to me? We're, we're family. What about Mama? You're never going to see her again. Sorry, Frankie. <laughs> it was great. Did you catch the look on those jurors' faces? <laughs> you boys did great getting Rebus to testify. Nice work. You too, Elliot. Someone's gonna take a lot of heat for this one. What's the word? You got a strange phone call from a guy who wouldn't leave his name. He said there's something going on at the airport. Check it out tomorrow, Elliot. He deserves a night off. Okay, Elliot. Let's light up that big cigar now. Yeah. No. Not yet. Don't you see? It's too quiet. Capone can't take anything lying down. He's not gonna let this go to a trial. I'm going to return that call. You got a Johnny Rio? This one's ours. Orders from upstairs. All right, get going. White Jenna? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little travel tip for you. What are you talking about? Who is this? Never mind. You want to even the score? You'll be at the airport by the Knox Petroleum Hangar. Eight o'clock tonight. Johnny Rio's going for a little ride. Some kind of joke? Eight o'clock.
the love of it. This way, Johnny. Well, so long, USA. Hey, I hear they got some people bras down in South America. <laughs> Where'd they get a load of me, man? <laughs> Easy, man. Tana. I got no beef with you. Just stand right where I can see you. I'll kill him right here if I have to. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do, you little piece of scum? Get in! Okay. We're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna see how well you can fly. Get in! Get back! Flight's canceled, Mike. You're warming up the electric chair for you at Juliet. Jenna, how'd you know where to find Johnny? Somebody gave me a call out of the blue. Does this count as Justice Elliott? Johnny Rio? I don't know. Let's see what we can do with Mike Jenna. Elliot, any idea who tipped you off? A person called Mike Jenna didn't leave his name. Somebody wanted to eliminate two problems at once. Somebody completely ruthless and real, real smart. Jenna clipped Johnny Rio. The nest was there. He picked up Jenna. Make the funeral arrangements. The Rios deserve the best. Give me Da Vinci funeral. Tell him Frank Nitti's calling. 